Nardo here is showing a G2 Dust 2 fake B split. At their start, G2 run a default. They throw nades long A as well as B tunnels to show presence and to keep the CTs honest. Then the standard mid nades come out, which is a door mauling flashes across the Xbox. G2 will fake a mid to B by mauling short and smoking off CT and left side CT mid. Four players will quietly clear up and go up short, while Omni comes out double door and using the cover of the left side smoke, gets inside the CT smoke. Crucial, opting from B won't be able to spot Omnac due to the smokes. The short players will then swing dry as G2 have no nades left with Jax dropping down to CT. Omnac comes through the smoke and kills Surreal op corner while Jax kills Robin CT. G2 have full sight control and plant. Endpoint in a 3v5 off the save. I like this strat because most of the time when teams use these two smokes mid, it can indicate a mid to B by going through the left side smoke. Here G2 will use these two smokes to send one player towards the CT smoke and they want to bait the rotator's attention towards the smoke. Endpoint weren't expecting anyone short, and their focus was on the mid to B. Let's go into the player's POVs. Omnite goes tunnels and shows presence to keep the B players honest by nading close, flashing, and then throwing a lurk smoke that blocks off Crucial's view. The lurk smoke puts a lot of pressure on the CTs as teams have been executed through the smoke, or a player can lurk to the right boxes using the one way or left of the smoke. This smoke pulls out nades from the endpoint, and Omnic doesn't have any other nades and he's going to go to lower tunnels. Omnic waits for his teammates to throw their nades, then he will go outdoors once endpoint molly ends. Omnic is going to use the cover of the left side smoke to get inside the CT spawn smoke. The smoke fades and then he kills Surreal while Jax jumps down from short and kills Robin CT. Omnic picks up the smoke from Robin's body and resmokes CT. Endpoint is going to save in a 3v5. Had endpoint never molly doors, the CT smoke would still be up and Omnic would walk through the smoke once his short teammates showed presence, because that will pull the rotator to go back to A to help, and that's when he can backstab the CT. Jax is going to spot for a lower tunnels cross at the start since Nico went to lower B tunnels with the op. He's going to flash door with Hunter's flash to cross the Xbox, and Jax will do so by jiggle peeking first to see if an offer is holding, then he will flash doors when Hunter is throwing his flash. Afterwards he goes up catwalk and he jiggle peeks a corner before mauling stairs, in case an offer is holding there as well. That maul is to make it look like G2 are committing mid to B because it's used to slow the short rotations of flank mid. Jax will jump down and smoke left side CT mid. Then Jax will make his way back up short and dry peek and clear short quietly because G2 don't want endpoint to know that they're on short to allow Jax to jump down CT to catch the rotator off guard. Also G2 at this point have no more utility so they have to do so. He's gonna jump down to CT spawn when Omnic is in the CT smoke and when his team is ready to swing out short. Jax will kill Robin who is focused on the smoke the CT smoke fades and he gets light from B. Jax is going to make his way back into the boxes and endpoint save. I think the reason G2 sent a player to jump down to CT is to catch the rotator player off guard since that player is focused on the mid to B and also G2 didn't have nades so Jax causes to reel and miss his shot. I also think that you could take short control using nades if you have money which will show your team's presence but as well as executing A in order to pull the rotator back up to CT ramp and instead of having Jax jump down that's when you can have Omnic come through the smoke. Lastly, I want to point out that ideally you want Jax to use up his nades prior to the execute if you do have him jumping down, because there is a high chance he will die so, so you don't want his nades to go to waste. Hunter rushes lower tunnels with Nico and he waits for Nico to peek short before swinging out. He mollies behind door and then he flashes alongside Jack's door flash across the Xbox. Careful throwing this molly because if you mess it up, it doesn't reach behind the door cubby like Hunter's. He smokes CT and then he flashes door before getting up Xbox to short. Hunter is given bomb and would be the third player out. He's going to plant for short and after plant was going to head to short but spots Thomas and turns around to sight. Thomas will not commit and save. Next it throws Nades long A to show presence, condition the CTs and keep them honest. He smokes corn and flashes twice. He goes through the corridor and shoots to show more presence then he falls back. His Nades push back surreal and endpoint who had double short will retake long. Nexo will make his way up catwalk where he waits inside this corner for his teammates. Once Jack throws his nades, he's going to follow Jax and clear short by dry peeking. He swings as Jax jumps down for the execute. He would have killed Surreal had Omnic didn't. This opens up the A-bomb site. Nexo will make his way into sight and cover Hunter as he plans, but him and his teammates make the mistake of not clearing Goose. Fortunately, no one was there. Nico only has money for an op in Kevlar. He has a beast spawn. He rushes towards lower tunnels to peek short in case endpoint tried to boost. He's gonna wallbang Robin jump spotting. He goes on top of the back box and almost finds another shot into Thomas. Nico will fall back to T spawn where he goes suicide and watches mid. Then he makes his way up catwalk while still keeping an eye on mid. 
Since he has a yop, Nico will be in the back covering his teammates as they make their way out. If Nico had money for nades, then he could throw a flash over the short skybox for his teammates to swing out for the execute, or maybe he uses his nades to help get short control. Another team that uses this strat is Team Spirit. I don't know who copied who first, or maybe they both copied another team, but they run the same exact strat, except leaving matches to lurk long. Spirit is going to throw left side mid smoke, and then CT, and then they send Mirror to get inside the CT smoke, while SDY swings out short with a flash, and Dexter is holding in the back with an op. Chopper is going to drop down from CT from short. Lekro, the rotator player, gets killed from Chopper, then Mir comes through the smoke. Hauser killed SDY crossing, and Dexter trades. Matches outside long kills Forge flanking, and it's a 4v2. Heap gets a nice 3k holding from corner, while Freiburg flanks short and gets one kill. Spear should have won this round in no doubt in a 4v2, but you see how effective this strat can be. To wrap up, G2 and Team Spirit use the left side CT smoke and mid to B CT smoke in order to sneak a player inside the CT smoke while coming out short. They drop one player from short to CT, and the smoke player will come through the smoke. Essentially, you'll at least go one for one killing the rotator. You can pair these two set smokes for a beat split like EG, which you can check out here. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. All these will help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, join my Discord if you want to see a G2 Dust 2 short pop. Till next time, Nard out here. Peace.